was easy. Huh? Okay, everyone. I got one of these front row seats where the TV's here. Uh, random stuff. You get this, what is this? I'm not sure what it is. Let me sit down and I'll show you guys. These are the pillows. Definitely not as nice as the Singapore airline ones, but that's what they look like. For some reason, I have two headphones. I think they just mean to give me one. And this is the blanket. It looks pretty nice, pretty soft. My TV is all the way up there. And for me, my dining table is here. Like this. Oh, it's pretty small actually. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, it's like it's like very small. It's it's cute, it's cute. Very thankful for the extra leg room here. I have to put this up there though. Let me open this up and we'll see what's inside. Guys, right, check this out. It comes with what? It comes with little socks. Uh it comes with an eye mask. It comes with earplugs and toothbrush. This is so nice. And is that it? Yeah, okay. So a little kit for you. Nice. By the way, this is what the blankets look like. Nice little fleece blanket, quite thin, but I know it's gonna keep me warm. And this is the view. All right, I'm gonna put my camera away and then I'll see you when we are up in the air and for our first meal. Okay, see you guys when we fly. So as soon as we were in the air, meal service started and it came with this cute little water bottle, this very soft looking bread, a dessert, it was like a chocolate pudding, a little coleslaw, gotta get the veggies in. And for my meal, I chose the chicken and rice dish and honestly, it's looking amazing. The meal also came with these cute little utensils. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. I just wanted to put it in my pocket. In the middle of my tray was this giant piece of bok choy and some fluffy rice. I love airplane rice. And then individual pieces of chicken covered in this thick red curry sauce. Mm. My lips are smacking. I got a thick piece covered with some curry and some rice. And the verdict is... Whoa, the chicken was tender. The curry was this nice creamy coconut curry with a nice kick and the rice, so soft. I love carbs. I was surprised it had a spicy kick to it, but I would have totally ordered something like this at the restaurant, very tasty. I also had some of the veggie and yeah, not bad actually. Still had a crunch to it. And I'm just warning y'all now, this flight had so many babies. I think there were like, four or five in the seats next to me, so you will be hearing screaming and crying. <laughs> and seriously, not kidding about the spice, look at this giant piece of chili pepper just chilling in my rice. Mmm, spicy. So I'm digging into the slaw. It has carrots, cabbage, tomato, and honestly, at first, I didn't like it because I don't like raw carrots just like that. <laughs> but it got better. It was nice to have something refreshing on the airplane, especially after that heavy, creamy meal. Then I opened this bread and oh my goodness, it was so soft and cushiony. Look at this. I just knew this bite was going to hit and oh, by far the best airplane bread I've ever had. Yes, even better than my Singapore Airlines business class garlic bread. <laughs> It had butter already spread in the middle. It was perfectly buttered. I dipped it in some of the curry and oh, delicious. I finished all the chicken and just had some rice left over. Pretty good portioning. Then I had some of this dessert and it was honestly very yummy. Super chocolatey and paired with a sweet jam at the bottom was delightful. Not too sweet and it was both creamy and light at the same time. Overall, this was a very solid economy meal. I almost forgot to show y'all, they also had this little remote for my seat on the side where I can scroll through all the movies. I put something on and I fell asleep pretty fast. About six hours left in the flight, they handed out these little snack boxes. I got the mushroom and potato masala pastry and whoa, it's beautiful. Look at the way it weaves together. I'm pastry chef, you need a raise. <laughs> So I took a few bites and not only does it look beautiful, it tastes delicious too. I love a good pastry pie crust and this was perfect. You can taste little potatoes inside and the savory masala filling just paired so well with that crust. I was groggy and tired, but this was worth waking up for. I literally fell asleep right after this. <laughs>
I just have to say having this space and using my backpack as a footrest is so clutch. So two hours left in the flight, it was time for another meal. For this leg of the flight, there's still another meal coming up, so don't go away. All right, so the meal came with some fruit, yogurt, more of that soft bread. And for some reason, she gave me two bread. I don't know why, but oh, thank you so much. I got the noodle dish, which upon opening looks so good, so colorful, and there were so many veggies. It's sparkling. I made myself this little iced coffee. I know this is so extra of me, but I love good coffee when traveling. Then I started to mix the noodles and oh, it looks so good. It was saucy, it was oily. I mean, look at, look at that, look at that. Okay, so I have no shots of me eating this because I was so loopy, but it was very, very good. The noodles were very flavorful. I would say it's a little bit too oily, especially after you just woken up, but it's good and very filling. It was time to eat the yogurt. I think this was a mango flavor, but I just mixed it in and like the other yogurt, it was very good. I also had some of the fruit, which, you know, not bad. I don't know why, but pineapple on airplane, they taste extra good. The noodles actually just got way too oily at the end, so I couldn't really finish it. But the first few bites were really, really good. I think I was just too tired. I do have this clip of me in the camera roll just suffering because I did not get any sleep on this flight. But it's okay, it happens, you know. At least the food has been really good. I put on a movie before it was time to land for our layover. Layover is a great time to pop in with today's video sponsor, Surfshark. If you're watching this video, you love to travel and having a VPN is essential. Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network. You just download it onto your computer or install an extension like this. Easy. Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the information sent between your device and the internet. That's why it's perfect to turn on when you're using that airport Wi-Fi. It keeps your personal data protected from big companies companies and from hackers. Surfshark also masks your IP address and does not monitor, track, or store any of your online activity, so nobody can know what you're looking at. Its clean web feature blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts. I even like to turn this on when I'm working at the cafes because I'm using that public Wi-Fi. Surfshark VPN lets me swap the location of my device with a new one so I can access and unblock content libraries from other countries. For example, switching my location to Taiwan so I can watch all seasons of The Office on Netflix. Say, I am the best boss. Pro tip! Use my code CUPATJ to get an extra three months free. Surfshark offers 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk in trying it. Click the link in my description to get started. This airport is insane. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Every corner. All right, y'all, we have landed in Doha. Uh, I'm at a lounge right now. I got a chance to freshen up, wash my face, put on moisturizer. <laughs> um, that flight, uh, the food was pretty good. I think the, the flight, the seat was really comfortable, especially the extra leg room. The only thing was there was multiple babies on the plane and one particular baby that just screamed through the entire flight. So that was, that was fun. And I think the guy sitting next to me was very, very sick because he kept sniffling and coughing the entire flight and he wouldn't wear a mask. And so I started putting on my mask because, you know, Anyways, so if you guys have priority pass, you can actually enter a lounge called El Maha, but that lounge was full, and so they started sending people over to this lounge, which is El Majan, which is a business lounge. So I feel very, very lucky. I feel very blessed to have this as my layover lounge. Um, there's a sushi bar, there's salad. I mean, it's so fancy, and everyone here is so nice. I mean, the service is impeccable, truly. So I'm gonna get work done, I'm gonna get coffee, I'm gonna get food, and just enjoy the next five hours. And I'll see you guys on the next flight, which is from Doha to Phuket, and that's gonna be six hours. Total this travel time is 27 hours. <laughs> it's so funny because going into the flight, I had no idea it was 15 hours. I think I just had so much stuff to do, and then when I, but anyways, I'll see you guys on, okay. I'm not making sense right now. Okay, I love you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. We're mid-break, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next flight.
guys, they actually have a menu with even more food. You can order beef tenderloin steak, salmon, chicken, spaghetti, tortellini, and even like stadium snacks. <laughs> I love that, and ice cream as well. And here's all the beverages. Who have just joined us, welcome on board. Kappa Airways, a member of One World Alliance. After you have fun, you see this. Okay, we're in our seats. Uh, wow, no. Okay, pretty sure these are the same thing. Toothbrush, socks, I'll open it up. There's, there are pockets here. And then the remotes right here. Charger, headphones, and this is the screen. Pretty big. Comes with pillow, headphones, blanket, all pretty much the same. Chairs look like headrest. Okay, last leg, six hours. See you guys when we fly. As soon as we were in the air, they started handing out these sandwich boxes. I got the egg salad and it was not bad, you know, just had a little filling and the bread was soft. No complaints, always glad to get a snack. <laughs> then about three hours left in the flight, it was meal time. Technically, this is breakfast, so I went with the Western breakfast choice. It came with a bread roll, which was not as soft as the first flights. I opened it up and oh, it had a lot of things. It was a very solid breakfast platter. It came with a little omelet, looked like it had spinach or broccoli mixed in. Texture is giving me a hard sponge, yes. <laughs> it was kind of lacking some flavor and the texture got a little bit weird for me in the end. On the side, they have potatoes and tomatoes. Uh, it's truly the perfect little breakfast platter. And it just kept giving because in the middle under the potatoes, they had this creamy spinach. So I immediately got a chunk of egg and dipped it in it. Mmm, flavor. This was a chicken sausage, and yeah, you can't go wrong with sausage. It also came with yogurt with strawberry jam on the bottom, which I mixed up. It was really good. And it's nice to have something cold and smooth, also some fruit. Again, pretty solid breakfast option. They fit a lot of things in this little tray. And just like that, travel is over! Give this video a big thumbs up and thanks so much for watching! It was definitely a different experience flying Qatar for the first time to Asia. Let me know if you guys ever flew this airline before and how it was for you. See you next time!